Africa Summit is all set to kick off this Wednesday. Representatives from 54 nations, including 40 heads of state, are in the capital ahead of the main event. Senior officials are already in a huddle. Ritu joins us now with the details. Ritu, it's time for Africa. The India-Africa Summit uh, got kick-started today with a meeting of senior officials where two agreements are being negotiated. Firstly, a framework agreement on development issues and the other being a political agreement uh, with African nations. Uh, tomorrow, Susma Swaraj will meet her uh, counterparts, that is foreign ministers from the African nations. So almost uh, all the 54 nations will be represented either by uh, heads of states uh, or representatives uh, from these nations uh, on and on uh, on 29th, uh, Prime Minister Modi will meet uh, the heads of states uh, uh, or representatives of these invited nations. Uh, one big takeaway from this uh, summit would be an announcement uh, by India regarding enhanced uh, uh, line of credit uh, uh, to African nations. Uh, Secondly, affordable medicine, medicines. Uh, there will be a lot of dialogue on that because African nations have been, have been insisting that India continue to support um, African nations regarding, uh, uh, regarding affordable medicines, especially on the retrovirals front through the generics sector. We understand that there will be, will be a lot of uh, meetings on the sidelines of the summit as well regarding, regarding ensuring that uh, African nations get access to affordable medicines manufactured in India. Uh, the last but not the least, uh, you can also expect a lot of uh, cultural programs, but that will happen after the summit uh, gets over uh, on 29th. Uh, and and uh, we understand that already the king of uh, Morocco and Swaziland uh, have landed in Delhi, and by tomorrow the other heads of states uh, will fly in and land in Delhi. With that, it's back to you. All right, Ritu, thanks very much for joining us. From Diplomacy now to Motown.